sometimes patients get house calls, especially when they're escape artists. That's good. Now that'll harden really well. So you just gotta hold it right there for mama, okay? This is like a super important job, okay? Okay. We have a very large sulcata tortoise in our life, and he has a very good life. He lives out on an open anchor. He has a huge burrow. He's spoiled rotten. But from about September through December is traditionally breeding season for turtles and tortoises. And he gets out all the time. Can you sit on him or something, Miles? Yeah. I've been researching different GPS trackers so that if he does get out, I can find him as quickly as possible. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's Where's going the food? Where's the food? Oh, no, he's going. There is a large population of sulcata tortoises about two miles away at Lion Country Safari. I don't know if he can smell them that far away, but he frequently heads in that direction this time of year. Oh, there goes my gravel. Tom's coming out this afternoon to help me test out my new GPS tracking device with Durda. It's so funny seeing him in that little car. I forgot to clue you in about the gravel. Yeah. <laughs> I look like a clown car coming out. I know. So I think it would be best if we do try it out by putting him in the wheelbarrow, and then you just walk slowly down the road, and I see at what point it alerts me that he's on the fly. OK. Dirt weighs, I guess, close to 100, 110 pounds. So she asked me to come out and lift him up into the wheelbarrow. Any excuse to get out to the country, get out of the clinic for a little bit, it's fine with me. So I'm now waiting for the alert text message to let me know he's had a yard break. Face the other way, pal. We have a history of uh, having her ask me for unusual favors, so this is not the most oddball thing I've ever had to do for her, by far. <gasps> Durda, I am alert. I am outside the home tag zone. Whoop, 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 whoop. Busted. The red message. We're going! 